Hello and welcome. This is Rufal Monger. My friends, the Peacemaker trailer for Mortal Kombat 1 is now out. And also, Peacemaker comes out pretty soon. He comes out on the 28th, featuring the likeness and voice of John Cena from the popular show. He's coming here and he looks pretty good. Now, a thing to note here before we get into the whole trailer breakdown thing. A while after the initial trailer got announced, we have this. We've been waiting for crossplay for quite some time, and with the Peacemaker patch, we will now have crossplay added to the game. So, PlayStation, Xbox, PC, everyone will play along nice and well now. That's really cool, that's really good. Also, it's mentioned at the end of this trailer, but March the 7th through the 10th, there will be a free play weekend on all systems. So, if for whatever reason you haven't got the game yet, or if you want to convince a friend to try it out, free play, well, hey, free is a pretty good price to try out a game. Now to note, uh, as far as a lot of the references will go, I never actually watched the show. I know it's good. I've heard nothing but good things. It's just one of the things where I sort of never found the time. So if I miss any cool show references, uh, please post those in the comments below so everyone can know. That said, let's rewind here to the beginning and let's break down the trailer. So just open up. This I do know is from the show. I've seen the intro at the very least. So very cool, very silly. This I like and the addition of the Mortal Kombat Dragon is a nice touch. And we also have Janet Cage in this trailer, the lady version, alternate timeline version of Johnny. So she'll be out later in March, not with Peacemaker, just FYI. So to open up gameplay wise for Peacemaker. So out of the gate, yes, he's going to be a gun character. I know the NRS community always gets up in their feelings about people who use guns, but he's a guest character. It makes sense. You got to cut him some slack on this. So from Peacemaker, we see quick string here. Could be something like 4-2, I don't know. But uh, into gunshots, which is enhanced gunshots, leaves the opponent in a crumple fall over state after hit. So a combo extender. Lots of characters have stuff like that. So pretty basic, been done before. Then we go to this nonsense. So <laughs> he somersaults over an eagle that just hits Liu Kang in the legs and launches. So is this like an actual low hitting projectile or is this like a really elaborate normal that I'm not sure. Just mostly on the back that it launches and he's not spending any meter, uh, a meterless special projectile that's a low that launches. That seems a little whack. And from that juggle, there's so much happening in a very short amount of time. So the string, which has a grab ender, leaves them standing and is summon cancelable. So this is a proper summon call. He makes the pose. Janet comes out, all that kind of stuff. Although uh, while Janet's attacking, he can uh, recover almost instantly. It's a summon call, but he doesn't have to wait for the animation to play out, which is very different. But then again, all the DLC cameo characters all have their own special unique rules, right? They're all breaking the rules of cameos as we know them, which to me is great, honestly. I like that a lot. So Janet does a kick and Peacemaker flies right up into the air. But the crazy thing here is Janet will remain on screen. She will do multiple attacks while Peacemaker or whatever character you are can do various things. So kick, kick, then an uppercut and then a shadow kick. So combo ability for this kind of uh, summon for a cameo is going to be absolutely off the charts or even just pressure. If you can have it like you're taking turns with Janet while she's attacking and then you're alternating with your own block strings, your own high low mix or whatever, that could be wild. It's one of those things out of the gate I want to know more already. But hey, this is the Peacemaker trailer. So Peacemaker is also doing some very interesting things in this whole sequence. So after landing from the up teleport, he does a quick uh, normal into what appears to be like a toxic dart. Janet rejuggles. We have more strings out of uh, Peacemaker and then big old relaunching explosions into what is effectively like a low level cycle crusher. Once again, excuse my ignorance uh, on the show front. I didn't watch the show. I'm assuming these are all powers he has there. But yeah. A very elaborate sequence for sure. In our next sequence, we can quickly see Peacemaker go for a back throw after he blocks Liu Kang's flying kick. So looks nice. Just a big old shield slam and that's about it. Next up here against Melina, quick string could be like 1-1 one, one, into more Eagles, into more Janet, into more EXs. So now we know at the very least, uh, as far as the Eagle goes, we have multiple variations of height and also that launches as well. Janet is called in definitely as an ambush assist somewhat similar at least on paper by looking at it to like say Sonya's square wave so just good easy ambush assist for recombo ability it's always nice to have something quick and easy for combos and the ex gunshot is very interesting here because obviously it hits the opponent airborne 
but it does re-stand Melina at the end, so it forces them to go into the crumple state. So ground it or juggle, no matter what, if you're burning that meter, you will always get the extended combo because they will always crumple. That is actually super interesting. And now here, Peacemaker goes for that teleport attack again, but it's different. This time it's a big old elbow drop. That was not how it was before. Before he zoomed up and he came down with what looks to be like a generic, uh, you know, jump four or something like that, right? So perhaps you have the option of uh, either choosing a more dedicated attack or using a jumping normal. Not 100% sure, just spitballing, but there's definitely multiple attacks out of the teleport. Next up, more Janet shenanigans. So another summon call, and she's pulling the whole ninja mime act here. And one, the animation is sick, right? Because she's literally getting pulled away by like an invisible rope or invisible cane. But she's there specifically to look like she's taking the hit for you, right? You can even see the armor flash. She's not getting hit out of it like in the normal cameo way. So we have a combo slash uh, pressure call. That's a summon. An ambush call for quick combo ability. And this looks like a very strong defensive call, like literally setting up a shield. So perhaps for more zoning inclined characters, this could be very, very powerful. If she somehow acted like a body block, like you physically couldn't move past her, you had to jump around her too, that would be incredible. Although, don't know that for sure, just guessing. Looks strong though, a setup shop call, if you will. Call Janet, she'll defend you, do whatever you need to do. In our next sequence, we have Melina jumping at Peacemaker and he turns that jump into a pretty decent sizable combo. So uh, hitting them with a normal could be something like forward one. And again, we see that poison toxic dart, rejuggles the enemy, and that same normal, and then another hit grab string. So it looks like, going by what we saw earlier, he has multiple hit grab strings. This one just knocks the enemy down directly in front of Peacemaker, so probably really good for like Oki pressure after the fact. Now, next up versus Quan. Quan calls a portal, and I think that's a different kind of portal. I guess we'll see when the patch notes drop. And here we see yet another summon call for Janet. This time it is the infamous Splits Nut Punch. So leaves Quan standing, looks at like a significant frame disadvantage. If this could restand a juggled enemy too, that would make this super valuable, but I'll have to wait and see on that. But just like the rest of the cage family, nut punch into good frame pressure has always been a trait. So now anyone can use that if they pick Janet as their cameo. Next Peacemaker is channeling his inner night wolf. So he has a bit of a stance where he can reflect projectiles right back at the enemy. And then he keeps the power shield on after the fact. And it looks like that has its own unique properties as well because you can detonate it here. It goes off and giant juggle on the enemy. And here we see that Janet ambush call that we saw before, but very different as she's doing the jump punch multiple times and also glowing green with the classic, uh, you know, cage glow, right? So could this be the difference between tapping and holding the button? Not sure, but it's certainly a different style of ambush call. And again, we see the Loki Psycho Crusher from uh, Peacemaker, and I love this animation. It quote unquote is bad, I guess, but it's the exact perfect kind of bad, the right kind of stupid. You know, you're trying your best to be E-Honda, but you don't exactly stick the landing so good. I'm a big fan of that animation. It is the perfect kind of silly. Now here's one of the craziest parts of this trailer. This is actually uh, changing the rules of the game a little bit here. So the Eagle comes out and attacks Darius, not Quan Chi. So as soon as the summon got called, the uh, cameo got called, he has basically anti-cameo measures. So if you ever played like Dragon Ball Fighters, this is like 18 having 17 blast out the assist, except I don't know where he did this. And the whole previous sequence, he didn't really like do a move that I noticed anyways, that could like, you know, summon the eagle to prepare it. Like something had to trigger this, I'm just not sure what, but the ability, just like 18 Dragon Ball Fighters, the ability to control the opponent's assists, to control their cameo calls, that is huge. Like if you're trying to do like striker grenades or some garbage, right? And instead striker gets his eyes clawed out by an eagle, that would sort of change the meta now, wouldn't it? There's definitely a lot of mystery here. This is uh, perhaps what I'm most excited for to find out how this actually really works. This is a really cool concept. I dig it a lot. Not the least of which the eagle counts as a hitbox. It eats Quan Chi's projectile. So it's another way to defend Peacemaker. That's really cool. And maybe it holds your cameo hostage till you get him off. And then we see another, a third teleport where Peacemaker just teleports and no attack. So he can just do it in the neutral and do follow-ups from there. And then we go into the fatal blow. So uh, Peacemaker playing guitar with the uh, rifle. 
I'm assuming that's part of his character. This is really cool. The classic cage autograph, except autograph to your face. And then even more eagles attacking in the eyes. And then John Cena slash Peacemaker says, hey, the gun, what if it was like my junk? You know, jokes, right? And that's the Peacemaker trailer. All the DLC characters so far have been pretty impressive. I'm a big fan. I gotta say though, I'm kind of looking forward more to Janet just going off what I'm seeing here. There's a lot of really good uh, potential there. And that's not to sell Peacemaker short uh, in any way, shape or form. Cause like the fact that the Eagle call deletes other people's cameos, that I really got to see how that works. So both for that and for Janet, like cameos are kind of at the heart and the soul of what this game is. And I'm happy that all the DLC content that has been coming so far has been really playing into it. And hey, besides that, once again, this patch that has Peacemaker coming at the end of this month also has crossplay finally. That's really, really cool. Janet will be sometime in March, no specific date, but hey, probably a few weeks after the fact. And also the free play weekend, that's pretty nifty. So yeah, really cool stuff. Looking forward more to the future of Mortal Kombat 1. So far, every DLC character and cameo has just been really, really well done. And I'm a big fan of everything that's been happening. And looking forward to seeing how these characters go as well. But that said, we pretty much covered everything, so that is the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well, and go out and play some Mortal Kombat.